Hi, I'm Jenny Fish with One Bag Happy Yarn Company and welcome back to our Strawberry Fluff Knit Along where we'll be making a two color brioche cowl. So in episode one, we went ahead and we talked about the yarn, we cast on, we did the setup round. Now we're ready to dive in and work rounds one and two. We're learning some new stitches, a burk and a bark, which sounds really funny to say, but it's a BRK and a BRP. So a BRK is a brioche knit and a BRP is a brioche purl. It's really that simple. But I wanna show you what those stitches look like and how they work, how to join in the round. So let's get started. Here we go. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I have a stitch marker on here and I've finished the cast on and the setup. Now I did switch out my yarn, so don't think that you missed something the last time I used the, the yarn over here. This time I'm using the yarn over here and I'm at the like yellowy orange stage of my ball of yarn. So this one has several colors in it. We've showed you that before. This one was made from here to here. Now I'm right about here. So you could probably get a couple out of that kit. Don't forget you can get the kit at onebighappy.com where we have the pattern and the yarn and you can choose which kind you want. Okay, so back to knitting. I've got my cast on 106 stitches. I've worked my setup row. Now I wanna join the round. I have my stitch marker here that tells me this is the beginning of the round. And I wanna make sure that all of my cast on stitches are inside. I don't want them twisted going the wrong direction because I want these all going the right direction. Otherwise it would make like an infinity, it'd be twisted and it, if you want it that way it might look nice but I'm, this was not intended for that this time around. So make it this way first and then try it the other way if you want. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> I'm just giving suggestions out here. I didn't think about it until just now. I don't know how that would work. But the great thing about two color brioche, I do wanna show you this is it is reversible. So you could do that. This is what I consider to be the front side because I have this bright color here and then the dark color in the background. But when I turn it inside out, now look at that. The blue is popping and the other color is in the background. So two color brioche is reversible. So if I did twist it, it would look like something like that. That might work, an idea. Test it out. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to see pictures on our Facebook group at One Big Happy Yarn Company Makers on Facebook. Love to see pictures. Okay, so for this project, we're not twisting. And to join, I'm gonna be working the BRK, which is the brioche knit. My first stitch here is a single purl stitch. So this is where it gets a little interesting. This is one strand of yarn. So that tells me right away that I have to slip that stitch. I'm not gonna work. I'm working it, but I'm not knitting into it. I'm slipping it with the yarn over. So you'll see the SL1YO, which means slip one yarn over. And like I said in the first episode, it's almost easier just to say what that stitch is than to list out the acronym. But when you're writing patterns, okay, I'm using my golden yarn here. I'm slipping this. Now, I also wanna realize which direction I'm uh, working my yarn over. I'm gonna be knitting. So I'm gonna bring my yarn to the front, slip this stitch. Now I'm gonna knit, and this is a brioche knit, the BRK. I have to stop thinking about that sometimes. It's called a bark. BRK. The, these two strands of yarn are considered one stitch. This is the stitch with the yarn over and you work them together. And I'm gonna knit those two. At the same time, I'm kind of finishing the yarn over that I started on this first stitch. And then I knit those two together. Now I'm bringing my yarn to the front. I'm slipping this next stitch and then I'm gonna knit into here. And as the slip one yarn over goes like this, now my yarn is like in the back, well, it'll pop forward on you. So to secure that, you just go ahead and knit the next stitch 
and it will fall into place. So bring the yarn forward, slip that stitch, knit these two together, and that yarn over right there falls into place. So bring the yarn forward, slip that stitch, then knit the next two, just like this. We're gonna go all the way around working this stitch till I get to my stitch marker right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and work these. You go ahead and work yours, and then meet me back here, and we'll start round two. Okay, so I'm coming to the end of round one, and I wanna go a little slow and kinda of show you how this changes over to round two. So I'm, let's see, this is the slip with the yarn over, then I'm gonna knit these together to finish up that yarn over, bring the yarn to the front, slip, knit these two together, bring the yarn to the front. Now this is where it looks a little weird because my last stitch here had a yarn over on it, but this yarn's just kind of hanging out there. This is what's gonna happen. You just you can leave it hanging in the front of your work or you can throw it to the back of your work, but just know that the last yarn over of the row is dangly and it's supposed to be that way. I'm gonna slip this stitch. Now, here's how I'm gonna hold this when I knit these two together. I am bringing this back here and giving it a little tension because otherwise it'll make that stitch really loose and I'm holding it to the back of my work and then knitting those two together. Then slide my beginning of the round marker, drop my yellow color, pick up my blue color, and now I'm ready to start round two. Round two, this is um, a single stitch. So um, it's supposed to have a yarn over. Well, look what's happened. I have all this extra yarn here. So my yarn over from that first stitch kind of fell over. I need to make sure that it's there, just like that. So I had twisted it somehow. That's okay, that's gonna happen. I need these two um, to look like this. So my point here is when you come to your beginning of the round, the end and the beginning of the round, make sure your yarn overs are in the right place. They will, they can have the potential to move around on you. So now I'm on the purl side, I'm bringing my yarn to the front and I'm gonna purl these two together. So I'm purling that yarn over with that stitch right there. And then my next one is a knit stitch, but I'm slipping that. So I slip this stitch, and I'm gonna tug on this to tighten that stitch up because that was my tail right there, and that's fine. So I'm slipping and yarning over at the same time, coming to the front to purl. This will look very familiar to you because this is what we did on our setup round. So I slip, bring my yarn over into the front, and purl. And that is known as the burp, the brioche purl, or BRP. So I slip this, bring my yarn to the front, and purl. I'm gonna do this all the way around. Slip, bring my yarn to the front, which is also a yarn over, and purl. Slip, bring the yarn to the front, and purl. Slip, bring the yarn to your front, and purl. Slip, bring the yarn to the front and purl. Okay, so that's round two. Go ahead and completely go all the way around. Finish rounds one and two until your piece meets, uh, measures about seven inches. And then meet me back here and I'll show you how we bind off. Okay, so I did want to go back and show you um, how we go from round two back to round one before we do the bind off. I just want to give you a visual of what it's going to look like. So um, I worked that purl. I'm gonna slide this over. I have the yarn over. It's the same as when we did the setup round, but again, this, this is just gonna hang out there for us. Then we drop that color. We're gonna pick up the next color and slide yarn over type of deal. Okay, now we're binding off. So what's gonna be a bit different about our bind off is that, and get my yarn all in the right place here, I am going to knit this first stitch. It's just one. This is normally the one that we slip. This time I'm gonna knit it. And then this 
is my Brio stitch. So we have the regular stitch there with its yarn over. I'm gonna knit those two together. And now I'm gonna lift this up and over and work my normal bind off. So I'm gonna knit into this one stitch, whereas before we were slipping it, but now I'm gonna knit into it. I'm gonna lift this stitch up and over and bind that stitch off. So I go ahead, I'll show you that a couple more times. Remember in brioche, these two stand for one stitch. I'm gonna knit those two together. I'm binding off, so I lift this up and over. Go all the way around, then you've bound off. Then you weave in your ends and block. Um, I laid these flat to block, so I just put them in some room temperature water with a little wool wash or eucalyptus. And then um, don't ring them. Remember, we don't ring because that'll distort our stitches. So we put them in a towel, roll it up, wick out as much of the wetness that we can, and lie flat to dry. And then you have this amazing cowl. I, mean, I have to put this on. It's so soft. Look at this. Oh, I hope I don't mess up my... There we go. Look at that. You can wear... I like to wear mine, but don't give you too much noise there. Kind of like that, and then throw my jacket over it. Oh, it's so soft. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me for this strawberry fluff knit along where we did the two color brioche. Be sure to check out onebighappy.com where you can get the kit that includes the pattern and the yarn. You can choose between the yarn or get both. Um, go ahead and leave us any comments if you decide to do the little twist to see what, how that looks. Join our Facebook group at One Big Happy Yarn Company Makers. But most importantly, have a great day and happy knitting.